Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is delete a node in a single linked list and it is an easy level problem. So the problem itself is very simple and it says that we have been given a value x. So this will denote the index of a node inside the linked list. Now we have to delete the except node from the singly linked list where x is the one based index of that particular node. Right. So for example, if you see in this particular case, the value of x is equal to 3, that means we have to delete the third node and the third node is 4 in this particular case. So we will have to delete this particular node. Now you can see that in this particular example, we have this particular linked list and we have to delete the node at index 2. So the node at index 2 is 5 and the final linked list will be 1, 2 and 9. So this is all we have to do in this particular problem. Now the problem uh, itself is not very difficult. And uh, recently we also discussed a problem where we had to remove duplicate elements and I would say that this problem is even easier than that particular problem and let us just quickly discuss how we can solve this. So deleting uh, nodes in a linked list is always very similar. So what you essentially have to do is this is uh, let's say node A and this is let's say node B and this is node C. right? So what generally happens in a linked list is they are connected like this. And if you want to delete this particular node, what you would do, you would directly make this connection from A to C instead of first going to B, right? So this is how we try to delete a node from a linked list. So deleting a node in general sense is actually just removing the link and directly attaching the node before the node to be deleted to the node after the node to be deleted right so we just directly make this particular connection now if you want you can also actually delete this particular node from the memory as well and we'll see how we can do it as well but you can always just directly make this link like this now how do we actually identify which are the nodes before and after my node to be deleted so first of all let's say i have a traverse function so let's say this is a recursive function right so as soon as i enter I have been given a value x as an input. As soon as I enter this particular function, I will decrement my value of x. Now, if x becomes equal to 0, that means this is the node that I want to delete. Right. So, I will try to do something inside this particular function and at the end I can just directly return from here. Right. So, let us see what is that something inside this function. Now, I'm going to receive two parameters inside my traverse function and that is the previous node and my current node, right? So why do I need the previous node? As you can see, in this case, I deleted node B. So I needed to make a link from A to C, right? I can get the value of C from B, but I need to have the value of A as well. So value means appointed to these nodes. So what I'll do, if my previous is equals to null pointer, Right. If it is equal to null, that means we are currently at the first node or the value of x was 1. In that case, what you will do, you will directly assign your head as current next. Right. So what I am saying is, let's say a linked list was like this and you wanted to delete this first node. Right. So your new head will become this particular node. So in this case, instead of assigning the links like this, you can just directly assign your head to this particular node. Now, if the previous is not null, that means I simply have to set my previous next is equals to current next. Right. So what it will do, it will directly make a link from A to C. So this is all you had to do in this particular problem and if you do it for the correct node, you will get your answer. And let's say you don't get inside this particular if condition. If you get inside it, you will just directly return from here. But if you don't get inside it, you can just again call your traverse function. And now your next node will become current next. And now previous node will become current node. Right. For the next node, the previous node will be the current node. So let us see my submission. So you see what I have done is I have created a traverse function. We will talk about it in a while, but let us see what we have down here. So I am just calling the traverse function. So in my initial node is going to be my head pointer and my previous node is going to be null pointer. At the end, I can just return my head as my final answer. 
Now inside this traverse function, I'm just first of all decrementing the value of x. If x becomes zero, that means this is the node that I want to delete. So I check if previous is equal to null pointer, I'm just going to set my head as current next. Otherwise, I'm just going to set my previous next as current next and I can return from here. If this is not true, if I'm not getting inside this if statement, I can just call this traverse function on the next node and for the next node, my current node is going to be my previous node. Right. So we see that we have successfully made the links. But what if you also want to delete the node from the actual memory Then you can just directly write delete current, right? So this is just going to delete the current node, which you actually wanted to delete from the memory as well. So let me submit this and show you that this particular code works. So you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of course, and you can always subscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends until the next video drops. Keep coding, stay safe. Bye bye.